Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods. Now we've only got one mod today and a couple of updates so let's go to the mod hub. So today we've just got one mod, one update and the mod is the machine shelter with light by FQC Art, shelter for machinery and equipment with lighting. 24 meters, 10 meters by 6.5 meters. All right, so we got some lights in that one. Then we got the mill, Lake Landscape Midland. Now this update came out more or less a couple of hours after this, the, um, the map came out, and which was a bit strange. And it says fix BGA. Now, I couldn't find a problem with BGA. I tried, well, I sold everything at BGA, it all worked fine. So I don't know what the issue was on that. But we'll, we'll check that to make sure it is still working. And then we've got the Flea Your SDS 350 flatbed trailer, which has had a update on added option to change center bulkhead and bed main color and also rim color. So we'll have a look at that as well. But that is it for today. Right, so first of all, we'll look at the Flegel SDS350 update. Now, the update for this is you can change the colours on the deck. So, obviously, this blue. And I'll tell you what, it does look really good. The glare off the sun is pretty amazing. You get certain angles. I probably won't be able to get those angles. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Pretty cool. Anyway, turn that off, get it out. And you can also change the front color there. Now that is called the design color. You can change that for 100 pounds. And you can also, the main color, which is obviously that blue, which I've done there, you change that for 200 pounds. And then we've got the rims. These are aluminum. Then over here, We got grey chrome. Look at them. Then we got I think that is red aluminium. And then we have red chrome. Look at them, they're they're awesome. Put that light on. And also you've got your chromes. So basically what they've done is added uh, a load of extra colors which is a uh, quite nice let's go into the shop and I will show you it's under bailing technology and there it is and you see them the main colors they're all sim similar to well the same colors as what we've got on most items then you go down to the design color and that's the same there's an extra you've got steel in there and then we go to rim color and you've got white silver aluminium silver chrome amazon red there's loads of red chrome red aluminium bison gray two gray aluminium gray chrome and that's it it's those that extra top row basically is the all the different colors for the rims but it's nice to have different colored rims especially when they're chrome so I was was, was wondering when we get some chrome truck rims and now we've got them so there's your main yeah your main colors 200 and then design colors 100 and when I checked earlier the rim color was 300 but it seems the alum silver aluminium is more money the silver chrome is three 300 and then you go on that one is nothing and then we go back to yeah they're 400 so it seems like the chromes are a little bit more expensive but yeah they are nice nice little feature now it is just this front bit you can change the color of basically you see that's is the silver you have got actually a zinc color for the the back of the bed as well so yeah, lots of different configurations to make it personalized to yourself. 
So all well and good, brilliant. Right, moving on. We've got to go down to biogas because when this map came out, within a couple of hours, there was an update to fix BGA. Now I was playing the map, just having a look around and making sure BGA works, and I'd never had a problem with it whatsoever. So I didn't quite understand what that was all about. As you could you could sell silage, well, sell everything. That wasn't a problem. I never had any problems with it whatsoever. Sold sold everything it needed to. It made silage in the bunkers, so not a problem. So then I did the update. I did the update and I thought, well, I wonder what has changed and I found more problems. Where it, I found it was fine before the update and now when you're unloading trailers, it's, well, it won't, it won't have it. It just doesn't recognize it. It tips it up. It lets you tip your trailer and you can see whatever it is coming out. And I missed the turn, there has the turn. Like, I, you can see the silage coming out, but it's not registering. It's still in the trailer and nothing happens. So I don't know what that's all about. It, so if, if you had a problem with it, let me know in the comments, because I don't really see what the problem was before they fixed it and created another problem. But there you go. We will have a look at that. So let's get this truck out of the way over there. And we will look at the machine shelter with lighting. And there you go, we have a switch. And they're pretty bright for even the daytime. Got three, two central supports there. And we have another light over this way. Two-way lighting, amazing. I think it's, is it similar to one of the other sheds? I, I'll tell you what, I've seen so many sheds now, it just, uh, yeah. It's a shed. Detailing on the wood looks pretty nice actually, and on the steel. No shed, two slots, £13,650, and this one is £5 maintenance a day. £15 maintenance a day, not £5 maintenance. Right, so moving on to the BGA. Now let's put the help window on, and you see what I've done so far. So I put some uh, grass and hay I put it in here, it's turned to silage, not a problem. Open silo. So I've got a trailer. That trailer over there is nearly full up. So I just wanted to prove that we can take silage out of here, fill that up. 6,000. You said in the shop this bucket was only 5,000. Now I'm complaining, more is good. Right, it's full. So we're going over and we will empty this. And this is the problem I had. Now I bought biogas last night. I, I was trying to do a mod video last night and it just, Time ticked by, and I was mess I was just filling up biogas, making sure it all worked, and I didn't have a problem. I was using this exact same setup. I come back to here, and reverse, and then you tip, start unloading. And you think, all oh, right, cool, brilliant, but you look, there's still eighteen thousand in there. But look, it's pouring somewhere, so it's not registering. It's not registering whatsoever. So I don't know how they can bring an update out and it actually makes it worse. But like I said, if you had a problem with it, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what the problem was. 
And of course, if you drive out forward a little bit, then it'll start just dumping it out on the ground because you own it. There it is. So it seems to be, don't do the update at the moment because now you've done the update, the only way to get rid of that is to uninstall it again and reinstall it, which means you're gonna lose um, no, you will keep your save data, you just lose your map, you just got to reinstall the map. Right, so it works normally with base, I can, you can pick it up and chuck it in, no problem. But we don't want to do that because that's the thing what we used to have to do and it was quite tedious. Especially you had a million and you were chucking 10,000 in at a time. But yeah, see that side of things, that all works fine. It will go in and go through the system, no problem. But it just seems to be the tip. Now I will have another go actually and make sure It's just not that one side. I'm sure I did it yesterday with that side as well. Yeah, it's overloading. And you see it's coming out. Oh, it is working. Whoa. So it will only work on that. You want to be right over on that side and it will work. Anywhere over the other side, you're going to have problems. But let me know in the comments if you've had any issues with it or if the fix has solved your issues because it seems to have created an issue for mine. But there you go. Right, moving on to biogas then. We have two... two um, buy points over here as well which I wasn't aware of and you really balls that up I was meant to drop that over there right I probably should have said we're at the mill landscape midland map now this is for BGA I can't remember if I said that. And the update on this, it, well, I, I was getting stuff out of here, it wasn't a problem. And now, I can't. This was digestate, or am I too far away now? There it is, it started filling. So we've got digestate, which obviously has been processed through biogas. But we've also got a slurry fill point where you can actually buy slurry from this point, which is pretty cool. I uh, a lot of um, the farms are coming, the maps are coming out with manure and slurry, and so they should. We need it. It's great. You can buy fertilizer and everything, but you can't buy slurry until you get your animals going. So now I found the slurry, you could drop that off and before anyone gets excited and thinks, oh, you're going to make loads of money out of this. No, you're not going to make loads of money out of this because so I didn't see what it would cost. I'm sure it was about 250, yeah, 250 pounds or something like that. So you don't get a lot of yield coming through off the digestate when you put slurry through. It's more off manure and grass slurry, um, grass or silage, sorry, not slurry. But dumping off slurry, it didn't have a problem with it. Um, I think it was just the tank. The tanker it accepts it, it's not a problem. The only downside with to what I'm using is very slow. But it's done, it's got there. But like I said, everything else seems to be working fine with it. Showing you what's in the bunker, 18,000, 46 compacted, and that's 65,000. I'm going to check 
to see what money we're making go to the finances and biogas is making us money over the last couple of days and we go in sell it sell and we made yeah 14,000 so it's paying out paying out good money it is on easy and so yeah just that issue with the left hand side seems to be I unless it is just with the IT runner but I did I can't remember if I tried it with another trader I'm not going to try it with another trader now let me know in the comments and see what uh, if you found any problems with this or you haven't had any problems because like I said last night before because I wanted to compare and see what was in the update itself that was why I uh, thought well we'll have a look at it before the update and then we'll update it and find the problem but never mind there you go right oh well we will leave it there for today quite a disappointing end to the week for mods there is quite a big list now i was going to zoom up the list but it takes up the whole page and there's not a lot on there at the moment and i tried to do a bit of research and when something says it's this than that but there is a heavy truck coming out and there's a also a truck pack coming out and there's a quite a few other mods they are down nearly to the hundred mods um left to be tested which i never thought that mod count would ever go down but it, the mod count is going down so they are catching up with it and i think on monday we are going to have there's at least 10 which are going to come and i bet they're really small at once it's the annoying thing why can't they just give you a couple a day you know we didn't have any surely one must have been ready for testing but there you go right oh well if you've enjoyed the episode then please give me a like and if you want to see more content then and or haven't already done so hit the subscribe button thanks for watching till the next time goodbye